Well, uh, continuing to make progress on the uh, 3D printed C3PO. Um, at this point, we've got the, uh, the pelvis all done. We've got the ball joint installed and we have uh, the back uh, done, minus all the detailing and whatnot. Um, I think, truth be told, I think I'm probably going to, you know, I'm gonna fill the seams where I've had to slice it in order to fit the printer. But as far as the joints go, I may leave them loose just so that this thing is uh, able to be disassembled in the future. Uh, the ball joint, I just continue to be ecstatic about. Um, the tension is really good on it, and I fully foresee it just being really neat uh, on uh, on a figure this large to have that ability to, to pose him. Um, you can see uh, mounting points here where a uh, socket will slide in. Um, and then the, uh, the shoulders will then snap onto that and the shoulders in, ten, in turn. So they'll, they'll, the shoulders will be able to turn and then uh, the arms then go on up and into that with another ball socket so that you can move it there at the arm and another one at the elbow. The wrists plug in and they'll have the ability to uh, rotate. Um, same for the head, the head has a whole sub-assembly that ends up going in around this peg so that the head can uh, can turn as well. I'm just, uh, I'm really excited to have the progress uh, coming along. You know, it's a bit ugly now as are all projects, quite frankly, at this stage. Um, I sat and did the math today and did a Google and I have a sneaky suspicion my 3PO is gonna come in about an inch to an inch and a half uh, shorter than uh, than his listed five foot nine height online, um, but you know what? That's that's okay. Uh, that's uh, close enough for for government work, I think. Um, and so I'm slowly in the process of uh, doing some homework and figuring out how I'm going to do uh, the belly section to keep it flexible so that uh, he can be posed. Uh, and same for the elbows. And do all the detailing with uh, with some wire and and one knot to really dress him up. And with the interior cavity being open, you know that the chest plate basically uh, snaps onto these pegs here and onto these pegs here. Um, and uh, all of the the structure is hanging off of this back portion. I'm kind of hemming and hawing about whether to go the extra nine yards and. Uh, detail out his interior just to give it some oomph so that if the chest plate's ever removed or the face plate's ever removed, um, you know, you get that extra little bit of detail. But quite frankly, I don't know that I'm ever gonna disassemble him that far. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna go about it yet, but that's uh, that's where he stands right now. I figure the, uh, the shoulder adapters will be done here in fairly short order. Uh, the chest plate's printing as we speak, and then I'm probably going to uh, continue on down with the arms and save the head for last. All right, hope you guys got a kick out of this. Talk to you later. Bye.